Um, next, um, I need another cluster of three in which I've got a bedding sample. I like that because it's straight. That is going to be my key step. And then on either side of it, I'm removing punchings for strike samples. And what's going to happen is I'm going to fill up this first machine screw. You can see they're not about to fall off, but I have knobs anyway in case there's a size that doesn't. That is filled all the way to the brim. That's my base. Take the second one, and I put the uh, cardboard punchings down against the head of the screw. Okay, now I've got uh, two more bedding samples, two more strike samples there, and uh, and two more there. So uh, no, three more strike samples and a leveling sample. So I'll pull these three here. One, two. I'm taking all the punchings off them out of the way. Putting a key step on there. Putting my punchings in order from base to trouble. Finally, um, I have this off on the end note already, and you don't have to do it this way, but I just decide that I start at the sharp and go around the corner all the way up the naturals and around and get the sharp last. It's just the way I do it. And. Um, A second, I don't remember which way it went. Go around the horn. And of course, these are all going to be, uh, the dip is going to be redone anyway. So, in a case where you were just going to accept the level and the dip and you wanted to go out to the bench, why that wouldn't be important. It would be important to keep them absolutely in order. Okay, so the punchings are off.